Senator Wright. Thank you, Mr. President. My question is to Senator Kim Carr, representing the Minister for School Education. The Prime Minister has announced a one billion order, dollar order. Senator Wright, just resume your seat. You are entitled to be heard in silence. Basic, basic respect should be shown to the person asking the question. Senator Wright. Thank you, Mr. President. The Prime Minister has announced a $1 billion national reading blitz to improve literacy for children in early primary school, pointing out that 75,000 students across all grades failed to meet minimum standards in NAPLAN tests last year, and warning that if there's not intervention, that could double by 2025. My question is, how is this funding to be rolled out? And how does it relate to Gonski? Is this a separate commitment to the, to the $1 billion for 2013-14, which is all the government has indicated it will put towards the $6.5 billion needed annually in order to implement the Gonski Review's recommendations? The Minister representing the Minister for School Education, Early Childhood and Youth, Senator Kim Carr. I thank you, uh, Mr President. The um, Prime Minister has made it very clear that the Government will ask the states and territories and the non-government schools to, assign, to sign up to a three-year national reading blitz as part of the national plan for school improvement. This is an intensive program for all students between foundation and year three, which will help tackle falling literacy rates and prevent thousands of children from falling behind in their schooling. And as part of the Reading Blitz, we want to see that schools focus on reading skills uh, of all students from the very first day of school and step in with extra help and resources as early as possible. And further, as part of the Reading Blitz, schools will also be asked to have a reading plan and adopt an evidence-based strategy. And the plan will include the teaching of, uh, of uh, phonics and um, the fluency and vocabulary knowledge. And setting out, it will also seek to set out how the basic building blocks of reading will be taught, diagnostics in terms of why students are not able to learn, and of course the individual reading plans for students who need intensive support. So many schools have already begun implementing reading strategies thanks to the extra funding that has already been provided by the Gillard government under the Smarter Schools National Partnerships, including hiring of literacy support teachers and uh, to work directly with teachers to enhance teachers' capabilities and their practices and to improve student performances. What we want to do is build upon the practical skills that are available, on the evidence that's worked in these schools, and to help our national blitz. Senator Wright. Thank you, Mr. President. I have a supplementary um, on the basis that I understand that it isn't necessarily new money that, uh, from the answer that the minister has given. The Gonski Review clearly identified that there is a significant impact of disadvantage on educational outcomes, particularly in relation to literacy and numeracy. In applying the funding for the reading blitz, to what extent will the government be seeking to ensure that it is the most disadvantaged students in the most disadvantaged schools, predominantly government schools, who will receive this intervention and this assistance? The minister. Uh, we are uh, ensuring that we are able to provide the resourcing necessary to help students who are most disadvantaged in the education system. Now, the pattern of experience here on the uh, Australian Council of Education Research has found that nationally more than 30 per cent of Australian students entering high school cannot read or write properly. And we want to target support to make sure that it goes to students in the most disadvantaged of circumstances. Senator Wright. Thank you, Mr. President. An additional supplementary. Given that the Gonski reforms are not to be implemented, um, are to be implemented over a period of seven years, and in light of the clear evidence that, compared to other OECD countries, Australia's schooling system is characterised by a strong concentration of disadvantaged students in certain schools, predominantly government schools, and that disadvantage is directly related to poor performance of those students. Will the government commit to prioritising the most disadvantaged government schools as it gradually implements the Gonski reforms over the next seven years? Minister. What uh, the government has committed to is a new funding model which is able to deliver stability and certainty 
for every school in the system and to ensure that we're able to provide additional resources for the students most in need. That's the whole point of the reform process, to ensure that we have genuine equality within the system, that every school and every sector would ensure that they have the resources necessary to help students most in need.